You guys are gonna love this video. You, you're gonna love this video. Your wallet is gonna love this video more than I love big boxes and Megan the Stallion and Barbara Corcoran. <laughs> She's my everything. <sighs> oh my gosh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Gloria. I make videos, I take pictures, I wear makeup, shapewear, and sometimes bras. And we have a good time here. Today we're gonna do a full face one brand makeup tutorial featuring Essence. And if you guys haven't been around, I'm like really good at these, kind of. <laughs> Although I think today we're actually gonna nail it, guys. We actually are gonna nail it right in the pinche face because I'm almost positive that I did get everything for a full face. I'm almost like HIV positive. And I am here, sitting in this chair, in front of this camera, to help you become the woman of your dreams. Or man, or dolphin. I don't know, can can dolphins watch TV? I heard they're real smart. I really, them and um, toucan, parrots? Parrots can do math. You wanna know one thing parrots and I have in common? Not math. That's, uh, they're my babies. <laughs> I love them. I love you. Today we're gonna to be working out of this box. I went on the interwebs, I actually went on the Essence website and placed a gigantic order. That was a lot of stuff guys, but it really wasn't that expensive. You wanna know why, stripper? Because Essence is one of those really amazing brands that has really amazing quality stuff, but it's like literally one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe at the most $10, this but just one of these, $10. They're a super affordable brand. I personally love them, and I love that they also love me. They send me PR all the time, but this, out of this box, I did purchase everything. Out of this box, however, they did send me this, and they also called me pretty, which I really appreciate, because for those of you guys that don't know, um, words of affirmation are my love language, and we, we just really, oh! They sent me a sponge. Honestly, they sent me this PR box a while ago, guys. And I just realized that they sent me a sponge and a brush, so now I got two of them bad boys, which is fine by me, because I go through sponges and brushes like a muff. And they sent me the, what are you, ho? Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluron and Aloe Vera. 24 hour long lasting hydration. And it is a whole vegan. So they sent me three that could be my shade. If not, they sent me all these little testers, which I really appreciate when brands do this. I don't really like it when they, when brands send like the same foundation, like the full size, because I think it's very wasteful and I don't have that many friends and it reminds me of how lonely I am. I don't know which one my shade is gonna be. I am gonna go ahead and have to test it out. They did send me natural, cool chai, warm cashew, and natural, neutral suede, which I'm thinking neutral suede sounds like it's gonna be that one one but she is getting kind of dark is the situation. However, you know what? We're getting ahead of ourselves. We do have to prime. I'm pretty sure I did get a primer. Like I'm pretty sure a bitch got a primer. Okay, so maybe she's full of liar. The thing is, I thought I had my Essence primer here. I took it home and I never brought it back, but it's a really good primer, guys. Essence makes a really good primer. Mine was from their cannabis kind of collection, but we're gonna stick with the theme and the price range because the primer I'm gonna be using is the Puff Puff Primer by e.l.f. This is also a hemp-derived cannabis sativa Northern Lights Indica primer. I'm just kidding about that last part. That was an office joke. Gonna go ahead and pop this on my face for the extra moisturization, which I don't think I need because apparently the foundation is super hydrating or the tinted moisturizer. What are you? It's a foundation. Okay, now that we are moisturized and primed, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Instant Matte Makeup Setting Spray with Ever Matte Oil-Free Non-Sticky Lightweight stuff. This stuff is good, guys. I really like Essence's setting spray slash premi praise. That's on period. It's really good stuff. Like, look me in my eyeballs. It's good. 
Well, I let that sit. I should just take everything out of the box. It's honestly like low key giving me anxiety, like picking stuff out of a box. I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything out and ask you how your day was. Good, good, that's awesome. We have an Evermatte fixing powder. Don't let me forget using that. We have other things. We got brushes. We might as well take the brushes out. You know what? I'm gonna go do this and actually get ready to do my job. And I'll be right back. As I was taking the stuff out, I realized that I didn't get an eyebrow product, which honestly, like if you think about it, it's really cute of me. Like I'm, put me on your backpack, you know what I mean? But I did get a concealer. I just went ahead and did my brows off camera and I cheated a little bit, uh, but not really, but I, concealer. I got the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer in the shade 26 Natural Beige. I think this is the only concealer that I got off of the website. I didn't see any other option other than just this one. And I got the shade, hello? Light Ivory 20 as well. And apparently Hung Girl is waterproof and tattoo covering. I don't have any exposed tattoos that I could show you guys. You know the gist of that, but maybe on my OnlyFans. <sighs> when I get in OnlyFans. I'm gonna go ahead and use the darker shade. I'm gonna use 26 Natural, and I'm just gonna use this to kind of sculpt out the brows. This is a cute little felt tip or doe foot, whatever the, it's the shade of a tear. Oh, I did good. I, you know what, a high five, but not right now. I don't wanna mess up my brown. Cute, 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 cute. The coverage is fantabulous. I, here's my thing guys. I don't really love full coverage foundations. Like that's just not my thing. But I do like more full coverage concealers because like that's their job. So like do it right or I'm out. You know what I mean? Barbara Corcoran. Because I just feel like if I'm gonna wear a full coverage foundation and a concealer, like what's the point, yo? That is too much coverage for me. I don't want it. I don't need it. I'm pretty just how the Lord made me. Thank you, next. You know, but like, I don't wanna sound conceited. All right, watch out there, guys. So I didn't get an eyeshadow palette because I have a lot of those and I've tried eyeshadow palettes from Essence, guys. They're the titties, no yoke. But today I really wanted to try out these little melted chrome eyeshadows from Essence. I'm actually gonna go ahead and swatch them because, ooh, is that butter? <sighs> I can't believe it's not butter. That's bomb. That's beautiful. So this one is Golden Crown. I got three, tres. This one is Warm Bronze. Ooh, Warm Bronze. That one. That one's super pretty. My swatches are ugly though. Nobody asked you. This one is Zinc About You. Aww. Oh my God. So zinc about you it is. This one is definitely gonna go all over my eyeballs. And I might make some other ones in there, guys, but I can honestly say zinc about you is such a unique shade. I don't think I have a color like this in my collection at all. And a bitch be about her eyeshadow palettes, but I promise you, I'm positive I don't have a color even similar to zinc about you. That is stunning. It's like a lavender brown silver. I don't even know what that is. I am gonna go ahead and grab the brown from this little guy, which is their contouring duo palette. Palette. This, I'm just gonna go ahead and run across my ojitos just to kind of be like our transition, you know what I mean? By the way, I'm using an Essence Short Blender brush. I bought a bunch of Essence brushes. I think I basically bought every single one that they have on their website, or at least I tried to. Some of them might've been sold out, but I did get a lot of their brushes. So if you see me using these little numbers, it's because it's the Essence one, and we're trying to do as much of a full face Essence as possible, even though we did screw the pooch already, but nobody's freaking asking you, Samantha. Calm down. Neta though, not the best brushes, but like whatevs. I mean, it is the first time kind of using them and they're always a little stiff when you do that. But I am gonna go ahead and go into Think About You, not with that same brush because I-D-G-A-F or whatever. Did I do that right? Oof, shouty. Why is that the most stunning thing ever? And I've had children. What the fuck? This color is literally so pretty. I'm telling you guys, I don't have anything like this in my collection. It is such a unique color and I'm literally obsessed with it. Like it's so pretty. I honestly thought I was gonna use the gold one because I'm such a creature of habit. I'm such a little basic bee, you know what I mean? But. This shade literally has my heart and I just want to bathe in it. I am gonna go on the Essence website and like literally buy all of these and then live in them.
All right, guys, I kind of went ahead and skipped along and added some warm bronze out to the outer corner just to kind of deepen up the look. I didn't want to take over zinc about it because that's my baby now. I love. And I also went ahead and used the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen, which I'm not going to lie, guys. It's not the best eyeliner pen I've ever used. Like, she's a little sheer. She's not that dark. She's not that black like I want her to be. She's not as, like, intense. You know what I mean? But she's cute. And to be honest, like, she was very easy to use. Now that we are done with the eyes, kind of we are gonna go ahead and go in with the face we're gonna go back into our new foundation which is a hydrating foundation pretty natural in case you forgot okay so i have the shade natural no neutral suede which is 90 which might be the one because i'm always neutral something guys okay so that like might be something maybe but or like not really we're going to go with warm no cool chai i don't think it's cool because right now the more tan i get the more golden my undertone gets nope nope it's definitely not cool chai all right last but not least we got warm cashew nope oh we just got lighter if anything thing is a be getting tan okay because sky's out thighs out so i'm feeling i don't think we're there there neutral buff maybe this one if not maybe like i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm not good at this guys i'm good when it's on the internet Ooh, i can already tell you homegirls the one i am going to go ahead and use the brush that this whole situation came in i also need to go ahead and wipe down my hand I got all these chimmers and I don't want to mix the chimmers with my foundation because as much as I want to look like Tinkerbell like I don't want to be Tinkerbell there's a difference I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this in the back of my hand and then grab our flat top brush where did you this one this is the essence makeup buffer brush bt dubs and while we apply this to our face okay this isn't the best match either gross it's not guys but you know what we're here i'm also low-key kind of terrified because i put on a hydrating primer and this is a hydrating foundation and let's not forget she does get oily not as oily as she used to but she still gets oily why do you smell good like not like perfumey or anything really fresh and like skincare why do you smell good is it the aloe? Berra! You guys, this foundation's actually very cute. It's very cute, I like it. I can usually tell if I'm gonna like a foundation by the way it applies, and I like it. This brush, however, <sighs> super stiff. Holy crap, this foundation looks like skin. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, Essence. You guys, keep in mind, I thought the match was gonna be good. I haven't put any on my forehead and you can't even tell the difference. Also, I haven't put any on my forehead and you can't even tell the difference. Yo, like this foundation already looks like skin and that is my strawberry jam. I like that. I like that at all. I'm gonna grab a little teensy binty amount and I'm gonna put this on my forehead but not really like worry about really applying a lot on my forehead because I don't really need anything on my forehead because the match is so good and like even the texture and the look of it, like it's fire. I like this a lot, yo. Why? Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. Ooh, and it feels like it's like sticking to the skin. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but some foundations like immediately almost feel like they're gonna slip and they're gonna slide and they're, you know, gonna just melt off of your face. This actually feels like it's adhesing to my skin and it's like sticking to me like a wolf spider on a wolf, which is pretty badass. I like that. I like that a lot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cream bronze, but I'm gonna be using my Essence Soft Touch Mousse Makeup. This is in 40 Matte Toast. I bought two of these. I bought 40, 40 matte, and then there's three matte hunt. What? Also, like, why is your packaging different? Essence, what the F? I mean, I might mix the two of them because it's looking like mousse is a little bit more on the bronzy side and not as gray toned as the other one because that's more on the contour thing. Oof, yes. Yeah, be. This is technically a foundation, guys, but we're gonna use it to contour slash bronze because YOLO. I don't know what brush to use. Should I use this one? I mean, I don't even see why not. I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush here and just tap, tap, tap in. Diamonds dancing on my neck and tap in. A tap, tap, tap in. 
a tap in. I'm basically a female rapper now, guys. Don't come at me. This is super pretty. This is a really, really pretty shade. I know that like warm orangey bronzers aren't everybody's cup of tea, but you guys, they are literally my whole thermos and my whole kettle. I love them. They just complement my skin type like a bunch and to be age, I just really like them. Sometimes I just be a slur for them. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Gonna go ahead and hit up the nose just so it doesn't fall flat. By the way, guys, I think the soft touch mousse is like honestly like $5. The foundation itself, I'm gonna look it up right now and give you guys the price of it because it's so pretty and I love it literally the most right now. It's so good. Okay, so the essence, this homie is $5.99. Told you. The concealer, by the way, was $3.99. The spray, $4.99. By the way, the brush, $6. And the Pretty Natural Foundation, $7. And holy crap, guys. I think I like this one way more than the Catrice one. And the Catrice one was all right. Like, it wasn't bad, but it definitely wasn't my favorite. This one, however, ma'am, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply now my concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit though, like, mirale, right here, right here, right here, right here, and maybe like right there, just to connect them, you know? Just like a little, another tear, you know? And then we gotta even it out, guys. We don't wanna be an unsymmetrical little B. And for this, we are gonna go with our little sponge, which I went ahead and got damp. This is what it looks like damp, guys. It is soft, not the softest. I've honestly like wrung it out so much, guys, and it's still like, it's retaining a lot of water, which I don't love, love. But this is what it looks, but this is what it looks like compared to it in the thing, in its little container, which I, I had one in the container to show you guys, like before and afters, but I can't find it. So here we go. All right, guys, I was not loving the sponge, to be completely honest with you guys. The sponge is not my favorite, but this, however, came to save the day. This is the Tati Blendable. This isn't an Essence product, but the Essence product wasn't really twerking out for me. And I don't want to mess up my complexion because honestly, guys, it, it's looking fire. Like this is honestly my face makeup hasn't looked this good in like a few videos and i'm really hyped about this this concealer is actually working out really well too like really well like i like it a lot it's not really creasing which is cute what is the name of this concealer is it like a matte concealer because it's definitely matte it's for sure z's for sure skis matte okay this is a camouflage matte concealer again tattoo and waterproof no wonder it's so like sticky because it's waterproof we love a waterproof moment okay i'm gonna go ahead now and set my face i'm gonna use the essence my skin perfector loose fixing powder this has an instant blur effect and a natural matte finish i'm using the shade light 10. i'm also gonna go ahead and use the essence bronzer brush for this little moment Ooh, that's a really soft brush. And even though it's a bronzer brush, yo, YOLO. I honestly thought it would be perfect for the under eye and <laughs> I was right. Not to be like a whole Capricorn, but like I was right. Okay, so the blurring, bitch is there. I'm looking so freaking trade right now. You don't even know. Oh, I think I've just fallen in love with this powder. Like for real skis and for real skis. Just because I want to try it, not because I feel that I need it. I am going to go ahead and use my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I just want to make sure that my face doesn't fall off, guys, because I was going to say I have something to do today, but I don't. Nobody wants that feeling of their makeup, like, literally melting. Nobody freaking wants that, okay? Not today, Satan. I'm just going to go ahead and focus this one on my T-zone. Okay, nos vamos a persinar with this. I really like this brush. I don't know why. It like reminds me of like a little cat paw. I just feel like I'm just like, you know what I mean? I feel cute. I feel cute. You know what? Why flipping, you know, not? Nah. I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly dust this powder all over my face because honestly, it's like blurring too. Like it's a cute powder. También, yo. It's always good like real lies, real lies, real lies. It's the cute powder. All right, guys, I just went ahead and finished off the ojitos with Zinc About It. Is that my boo boo's name? Yes, Zinc About You, this one. So cute. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the Essence Extreme Mascara. I've never used this mascara, although I've used a lot of Essence mascaras. No tea, no shade, guys. How do you say it? They're good mascaras. Like they really are good mascaras. However, I haven't tried this one and I really wanted to give you guys like a review and a first impressions and like a full face 
we're gonna use one I haven't tried, obvio. But I will say that the Essence Lash Princess mascaras, they're bomb. This one, we'll have to see. Sabes que vale, you know what, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know what it is about this mascara. Like it's giving me all the length in the world, but for some reason, it's like not giving me any length. And it's also like weirdly, like I feel like it's like making my eyelashes straight, which I have naturally curly lashes. So what the flip? I don't know guys, I'm not like mad impressed about this mascara, but you know what? We have some wins, we have some losses, and then we have, you know, these little dudes in between, so. It's a hair flip, that's all I'm saying. I think this is a more volume mascara. Oh my God, it says crazy volume, <laughs> pendeja. So it's right, it's living up to like its name. It's like saying it with its chest, it's being about it, realize, 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 so it's it's fine. I'll give it to you, boo. Go ahead and go into my Essence Hey Cheeks Bronzer and Blush Palette. It's this cutie right here, and honestly, like she's mad cute, yo. Mad cute. This was one thing that I was on the website and I was like, it's probably gonna be sold out. And to my luck, it wasn't. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I am gonna go ahead and just kind of like mix these three shades or whatever. And this is gonna be like our whole blush concoction. I coño. That's cute. That's hella cute though. That's hella badass. That's what that is. Yo, why is that the prettiest blush I've ever put on my face like ever? Essence, what the flip? You guys, honestly, looking at my makeup, this is like the best makeup I've done in un minuto. And it's literally the most affordable makeup haul that I've done in a while. In a while. I think all of this, all of this, and keep in mind, it's a lot was probably $120. You guys, I know you guys are looking at that amount and saying like, Gloria, that's still $120. But you know what $120 would get you at Sephora? Exactly. It would get you one eyebrow pencil and a sample from the checkout line. That's it. That's it. Don't get me wrong. I love Sephora. But realize, realize, realize. We gotta speak the truth to people. And this is, this is some hot shit. Tell them. Tell them. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some of this on my nose because a bitch wanna look like she's cute and like a little sunburnt, you know? Those things. For my highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter Palette. Honestly, guys, it's just another thing on the website that I didn't need because I also bought this, which I, I love. This is probably the one I'm gonna use on my face because the Essence Pure Nude Highlights, the best highlights literally on the planet. But this, honestly, I just wanted to try out and spend my money. I think this was like 10 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, however, on my inner corners. And I'm also going to hit up the brow bone with this one and my nose or whatever. And my cupid's bow, so cute. And as promised, I'm gonna use the Essence Pure Nude Highlight in the shade Be My Sunlight. You guys, I have this one in Be My Light, which I think is a lighter shade. They now have this highlighter in like three or four different shades. All of them are beautiful. And the reason I love this formula of highlighters so much is because they are baked. They are so nice and so so natural, they're not a blinding highlight, but they give me like literally everything I personally need in highlights because I don't like really bright, super chunky highlights because I feel like they emphasize texture. And even if you don't have texture, like they emphasize your face for no reason. And this one doesn't do that, which I, I love and I need because I don't really have a lot of texture, but when I'm on my period, you know, when I'm on my menses or whatever, I do get a lot of breakouts and a lot of texture on my skin. And I wanna wear a highlight, you know, I wanna be glowy and hoey and all the things, but I don't want my texture to be emphasized. And baked highlights, especially this formula, nada, yo. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set all this down. Firsties. Put on some brow gel, secondies. This is the Essence Lash and Brow Clear Gel, which I really love, guys. The, I've used so many expensive eyebrow gels, and while, yeah, some of them are better than this, just the fact that this comes close to like my Givenchy Boy Brow or like my Glossier Brow Gel, just the fact that this $3 gel is competing with the $30 and $40 ones, that's saying something, okay? And yeah, maybe it doesn't last as long as the expensive ones, but it lasts 
and it works so well my niece alondra also uses this one and honestly alondra doesn't lie and she has thick beautiful straight brows and she uses this brow gel a lot and it just does the damn thing you know what i'm saying hey now we got left is labials perras like we're done <laughs> I am so beyond shocked at how well this makeup look turned out versus how much it cost me. You guys, Essence makeup is known for being super ridiculously affordable. I'm talking $1, $2, $3, $4. Four. I think the most expensive item that I bought was maybe eight or nine dollars like not even topping ten per item And this is the makeup that came out of it So for those of you guys who are out here thinking you need a lot of money to afford a good makeup collection You need a lot of money to have a good face overall When it's about the face it has to be about the price. No, baby girl you're wrong, obviously. Then this is one of those moments where I really love to be the I told you so bitch, cause bitch told you so. The proof is in the pudding. And it's also in the complexion, which I think is my favorite part of this whole makeup look. I am gonna be very honest with you guys and tell you that I did mess up by mixing very cool tones with very warm tones. Like my face is very warm versus my eyes and my lips. My lips are very cool toned. By the way, the items that I used on the lips are the, this is Nude Essence Lipstick. I I think this is like their glossy clean lipstick i used their lip gloss the xxl shine wet look lip gloss in the shade happiness in a bottle and then i use the only warm product i used on my lips was a lip liner my choice which is this one which is pretty warm it's a really nice lip liner i actually missed this spot right here hold up yeah so i mean it's a very mixed look when it comes to like the tones but overall i think my makeup still looks really bomb the complexion products are amazing the essence pretty natural foundation baby where have you been all my life this is honestly like the greatest foundation i mean literally ever like literally ever this foundation it's so good and it feels so comfortable on the skin but it's the weirdest thing guys because i know for a fact jack that it's not going anywhere like this foundation it's not going anywhere it's not moving it's not like anything the powders everything the concealer the other foundation which is the mousse one this one i honestly really like because i was able to bronze with it that's the idea i had when i bought this product it just didn't look like the kind of foundation i want to put all, all over my face but now looking at it i kind of want to put it all over my face if you guys have that trypophobia crap don't look at this but i mean you guys can kind of see the kind of consistency that it is it's bomb.com like i think my favorite items have to be like hands down standout products of the video the foundation 100 percent like dna test that bitch the powder which i already knew this powder was bomb guys like this powder bomb and the blushes oh my god this palette is stunning and of course we can't forget about the one and only this eyeshadow is so freaking pretty can we get another swatch for the people in the back yeah i honestly guys the camera and the lighting is not doing it very justice it's popping off very silver like with my lighting but honestly guys it's the prettiest pink lilac gold silver i don't know but it's beautiful and it's not coming off how i want it to like with my lighting and everything but we love her we stand her i love the way this whole video turned out guys i am shocked but i am like beyond in love more than i was ever before with essence makeup i love essence like, even way before they started sending me pr i love them it's a brand that i 100 stand behind if you guys haven't checked them out they sell them at ulta they sell them on the ulta website go ahead and check them out also in the ulta stores i'm gonna go ahead and get going guys i love you i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope your wallet enjoyed this video i hope your credit cards enjoyed this video i just want to remind you baby girl today tomorrow but now in this second more than ever it is crazy what you deserve and it can be very expensive of luxurious makeup that i'm not going to stop you from doing whatever you want with your coins but also if you want to save money i mean you're welcome and that's why baby girl i'm in